You may want to elaborate on some of the techniques that you do use, because I think a big catalyst for your compounding is that, that you're very efficient in is growing the account. As you actually are taking multiple positions, you're adding positions based off your equity, you're securing some equity on the account, so the account is growing and your lot sizes are growing as you're taking multiple positions or new entries. And then I guess there would be the other way as far as with compounding for people who are going for straight you know, uh, R to R ratio. So I, I don't know your thoughts on that and maybe sort of explaining that a little bit more in depth for people who may be possibly looking to compound. That I think is a good point. A really good point. Let's talk. Let's talk for a second. This is high. So I have yet to see any group do 27, 22% successfully ever, 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 ever. I've never seen it successfully done personally. I've seen it attempted and it's really cool. Like, it's not cool to necessarily see the million. It's cool to see it attempted, just to see where they get it right and where they get it wrong. But let's play for a second. And we're not starting with 100 because that's not investing. That's just gambling. You may as well get a phone app and play solitaire for your monies, okay? I think you need a little bit more, personally. Let's talk. Actual earnings, total balance, catch yourself so forth. So when I was talking about balance and baskets, I was talking about per week. So at the beginning of this, when I said, it's wrong. It doesn't mean it can't work. I'm just saying it's wrong. I want to be allowed to call it wrong. Here's what I did, which was wrong. First off, I didn't know <laughs> that US, you know, GU and Euro odd was worth significantly different. And even as I learned that, I wasn't mentally ready to process the significance of that, right? I mean, it, it made sense, but it wasn't relevant to where I was at the time. So what I did was, for those of y'all who have been around a long time, I was allowed to be in X number of trades, and I'll, I'll find those sheets just so we're on the same page and I don't miss info. I was allowed to be in X amount of pairs per currency, right? I had to have X amount of pairs locked in profit before I was allowed to take another one, for example. I had to have my marginal leverage percentage, which at the time, I knew it was the make it or break it of the account, but I had very limited understanding of what it did, <laughs> like very limited understanding of the math behind it. But yes, I monitored that as well. I wasn't allowed to go below a certain percentage. And I used those as my foundation, right? I stopped jumping from strategy to strategy and blaming every single thing, every broker, right? We had, I was in a lot of the groups too, who every time the leader or the person did something wrong, they blamed the broker, right? Every time one person's account went haywire, they blamed the broker and nobody like looked within. So every time something happened, they blamed the strategy or the broker or the tool, or the person, and they never like just stayed still long enough to have success. So I literally won a strategy, said, okay, here's my stop loss, plenty of room. I had a huge stop loss. And again, at the time, in all fairness, I wasn't trading this based off of risk. I was trading this based off of reward. The calculation I was doing was a little bit different. I need to call a spade a spade and say I was doing it, quote, wrong. I did happen to have success at it. So to give you an idea, Depending on what I was doing, this is per week. And I liked what I did Excel, but, but let, let's finish this and then we'll answer some questions. So I took a basket of trades. And when I say basket in this concept, it was a little different. It was definitely a little bit different. So if I took GU, EU, and NZD CAD that morning, and this was my target. So if I was taking it on the one hour, for example, and that's what I typically was on was the one hour, I used this lot size on all of those, or I used the accumulation of this lot size. So for example, this is my highest risk. This is my lowest risk, right? So I would take, if I had to have four entries, I would have my 0 0.02, 0 0.02, 0 0 0.02, and 0 0.03, whatever, respectively. So I'd have four entries and I'd have the basket of GU, but I'd also have the basket of the other pairs. And at the end of the week, my only goal was to have this much or more, right? The daily prop, I would need to have earned this much at the end of that day, because this is by day, this is by week, et cetera, et cetera. So again, the one I had was a little bit different. But if all I needed to do, yeah, this is definitely different. Because it's just one. Weekly. Yeah. It, it, the concept is there, just the formatting is off. But all I did was take every pair I took for that whole week, all week long. So the blessing with doing it wrong in this case was since on Monday or Tuesday, my account was up. On Thursday and Friday, for example, I was still at a 0.13 for any trade I took that whole week, right? And of course, I managed them the way that I've already went over. And then the next week, I did the same thing. 
is for that day, as long as my account balance was this or larger, okay, I took this lot size, right? Based off of what I was doing. I took that all week long on all the pairs. I didn't shuffle between pairs and, and values and what have you. I did it again and I did it again. I did it again for 12 weeks. And actually I finished it just, I'm reasonably sure it was just shy of 11 weeks, but I got all the way up to six figures. I never made it up to seven figures from a couple hundred bucks. I never did that personally to give you an idea, but it went really well because I was also getting a lot more. So this was all wrong. Imagine what you can do. And that's why I showed the other thing. When you're actually right, everyone still wants to be on this concept because in their mind, it makes a little bit more sense. It doesn't. This, what I showed you on that other basket concept makes more sense. Plus we have tools now that do it better. So even then I was kind of basket trading. And I know a guy who also runs an eight, nine figure account. He does kind of the three in, three out kind of concept. When he's right, he's allowed to take two more pullbacks. When he's wrong, he's allowed to take more at the next level, one more level after that. And if it's all the way wrong, it's all the way right. Like I know a lot of people who trade in this methodology and who have not small money, not baby money, like big money. So hopefully they answered well. Come on, come at me with your questions.